class welcome back to my youtube channel and for today's discussion we have the lesson 11 which is about finding inverse function from table of values and its graphs so from our previous topic we have finding inverse function uh, with a given um, specific function of course and in here we're gonna have to find its inverse with the use of tables and its graphs so first let's have finding the inverse function from table of values so in finding um, the inverse of your function you just need to change x values to become your y values for inverse and for your y values of the function, you just change it to become the x values. So for us to understand, further understand, let's have examples. So example one, we have find the inverse of the function represented by the table. Given we have x and x here. So our x values are negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, negative 1 corresponds to a value 14 for your f of x, 0 for 10, uh, 10 for 0, then we have 6 for 1, 2 for 2 again, and then negative 2 for the value of your x, which is 3. So, how can we get the inverse of that function? With the use of just the, of this table so again you just need to change this x values to become the y values or your f of x and this f of x values to become your x values or your domain so the answer will be x values become 14 10 6 2 and negative 2. So these are the previous values for the um, f of x, which is the range y values into your function. So for the inverse range uh, values, we have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So as you can see, this inverse function um, is an interchange from the values of your table x and y or domain and range so another example we have example two determine the inverse of function below so this function we have x values which are two negative two rather negative one zero one and two and its range or the y values we have for one 0, 1, and 4. So now let's get its inverse function. So we just need to interchange the values of your x to become your y values or to become your range. And your f of x, which is the, which is the range, we just need to turn it to become its domain. So this is the answer. We have x values which are 4. So as we can see, this is the 4 from f of x in your function and it becomes the it becomes in the domain in your inverse function so we have 4 1 0 1 and 4 and the f of x or the range the y values of your inverse function becomes negative 2 negative 1 0 1 and 2 so if, uh, as you can observe these are just uh, values that were interchanged from your Function. So, this is the inverse function. Now, let us find the inverse function from graphs. So, here are the steps. Um, here is how can we determine it. So, to determine the inverse of the function from the graph, the graph of the function and its inverse must be symmetrical to the line y equals to x. 
So, from our previous lesson, lesson 9, we've discussed this as a property of one-to-one -one function. So, meaning if you have um, the graph, which is a metric, so it's a one-to-one -one function. So, how can we get that? So, by turning um, your symmetrical, um, first, you not just need to draw the line y is equals to x. So, it's just um, an, a, a line with a positive one slope. So, and then, you just need to draw the image of the graph of your function. So, let's have an example. Example 1, we have here the f of x, which is this graph, the red, and it is equals to x cubed plus 2. So, we have here the symmetry of uh, the line, or, which, is, which is y is equals to x. So, if your inverse is symmetric, um, your inverse function should be symmetric with f of x or your function graph. So, as we can see here, if we graph this g of x, which is the inverse of our function x cubed plus 2. So, g of x or the inverse function equals to cube root of x minus 2. So, uh, as we graph this, this will become like this curve which is the g of x or the blue curve. So, if we're going to observe the two graphs, f of x and g of x, are symmetrical, meaning this g of x is the inverse function of our f of x. Another example, let's have this. Example 2, f of x equals to 2x plus 1. If we get the in inverse function in that um, just if we solve the inverse function, we have inverse of x, x minus 1, all over 2. So, let's take, let's take a look at the graph. So, this is the y. This black line is our y is equals to x. So, how can we determine that? Just plot 0, 0, 1, 1, the ordered pair. So, we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, comma, 2, 3, comma, 3, 4, comma, 4, and so on. And also, negative 1, comma, 1, negative 2, comma, 2, negative 3, comma, 3, and so on. And if we grab your function, we have here the red line. So, we have 0, 1, 1, comma, negative 3, 2, comma, positive 5, 3, comma, 7. So, Taking the inverse, we have 1, 0, 3, 1, 5, 2, and 7, 3. So as we can see, this uh, graph, the, the blue one, the blue line, which is the inverse, supposed to be the inverse function, is just a mirror graph of our function. That means, this is correct, this is the inverse function of our given function 2x plus 1. Another example. So, we have f of x equals to x squared. So, f of x equals to x squared is a parabolic. Um, when we, we grab it, so this is the red parabola f. So, if we have, uh, I forgot to draw the y is equal to x here, the line, which where there will be, which we can see the symmetrical part. So, this blue line, blue curve rather, blue parabola is the reflection of your f of x of the function x squared with respect to the y is equal to x line. So, as we can see, this is not merely symmetric because this reflected graph does not pass the vertical line. So, from our very first discussion, very first lesson, we discussed vertical line tests. The vertical line tests will help you in determining if your graph is a function. So, as we can see, this uh, 
parabola, blue curve parabola, or blue parabola, which is the reflection of our f of x here, does not pass the vertical line test. So if we draw vertical lines here, it touches more than one point, meaning it is not a function. So this graph is not a function. What do we mean by that? So this f of x means it has no inverse function because it's reflected or the symmetric um, graph is not a function. So how can we determine if your um, function has an inverse function? So we have the horizontal line test this time. So if any horizontal line intersects the graph of your function more than once, then that function does not have an inverse. That does, does not has an in, does not have an inverse. So, if no horizontal line intersects the graph of F more than once, so meaning it just touches one point for every horizontal line, then that function, that given function graph, has or does have an inverse function. So, if we're gonna take a look at the ex previous example or the, our last example here, so if we draw a horizontal line this time like this, so, in this function, we can see it will touch two points. So, this point and this point, this point and this point, and this point, and so on. So, again, it's the f of x equals to x squared 